what do you think was the key to so much success in pass protection in this last game? Uh, I think this. I think once, uh, you know, really starting really with the second half, we kind of got into a little bit of a rhythm. Um, I think early in the game we did some things to um, put ourselves a little bit behind the chains. And then uh, we were able to, the second half, when we did, we were able to overcome some of those things. So I think that uh, I thought the offensive line played extremely well. And I thought that Derek had a nice clean pocket a lot of the times. And uh, obviously teams want to be able to dictate things, impose their will in the run game this time of year. How, how close do you think the offensive line has gotten in that regard? Has it still been a little touch and go sometimes? Well, I think this. I think every time we come out of a game, there's still things that we want to improve on. I think that um, you know we felt we felt like we still left some yardage out there, uh, some opportunities there, but I think that uh, that group has really come together and uh, I think they're playing at a, a high level right now. Pete, just the, the extra day of practicing the red zone stuff, how much do you think that's actually helped you all? Yeah, I think this. I think obviously the uh, it is, uh, we've gotten good results from it. I think that anytime you make a extra emphasis on something, I think that uh, you know just maybe increases the um, it's, listen, it's always important, but it just increased maybe um, the focus, and I think it's uh, obviously we've gotten good results with it. And then Jimmy's obviously like been a great target for you all in the red zone, but does he also help just in terms of the attention he draws? Yeah, I think that uh, even on the you know if you look at the uh, you know touchdown earlier in the, uh, the early in the game to Kirkwood, and I think that uh, really that play was designed maybe thinking that the, uh, Jimmy might get a couple guys covering him, and so. Uh, you know, I, when he's out on the field, obviously, uh, teams, defenses will be aware of him. The ten different receivers caught passes. Was that kind of the idea going in that you're going to spread the ball around when you don't have to press something? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, we feel good about wherever the ball is going with those guys. And I think that Derek did a good job uh, getting to where the ball should go. So some plays that maybe weren't designed necessarily to go to a certain guy ended up because he was third in the progression and we got there. So I think that uh, we're confident in any of those guys that are on the field that if the ball goes their way, that will have production. How do you do this kind of performance again and build off of it with the Thursday night game at Los Angeles? Yeah, I think right now, obviously, yeah, sure, a week. But I think that uh, for us, a lot more um, you know, walking through or more mental reps. But I think that you got to, uh, you know, when you have a short week, make sure you're doing the things that you know by heart and uh, you know, not overloading them with information. Obviously, I'm sure you don't want to have it twice. But the fact that you've already gone through this once this season, how mm -hmm. much easier does it make doing it? Yeah, I think that um, the process has kind of been similar here for years. It's about getting ready for a Thursday game. And so I think that, uh, you know, after the game Sunday, you don't have much time to even uh, think about it. You just want to make sure that you're communicating the corrections to your guys. But, you know, Sunday afternoon, you're back in the office getting on to the next opponent. Pete, you guys have had your highest percentage of early down play action the last three weeks. Is, is that something that you've made like a concerted effort to? to yeah, I, to I think that uh, yeah, that could you know we've always gone into the game with with certain play actions, but I think that uh, I think part of that's just me, you know, calling those. But I think that, that uh, it's obviously you know helped us in some areas. It, what are some of the advantages you get when you, when you are able to get to that? Well, if you're running the ball efficiently, and then uh, you know then you have an opportunity for a play action. To maybe have some bigger off bigger plays downfield. In the in the red zone specifically, has running the ball more efficiently on first down and second down? Has that been a big part of? Yeah, it? I, I think it is. I think when you look at the teams that uh, are doing well down there, you know, the ability to run the ball in the red zone is important. I think that you know puts you in man more manageable situations where you feel like, okay, we're converting some third downs, and uh, we had a couple in that game. Uh, unfortunately, we were able to get a PI call on one of them, but I think when you can get yourself in those manageable situations you can have more success. And, and I mean, is it is it as simple as, you know, just executing better or have there been kind of things, just generally speaking, that you've changed in terms of the red zone? Because I think it's nine of the last ten score touchdowns. Yeah, I think that uh, guys are, you know, competing, executing at a high level. And I think that uh, when their opportunity has been called, they've made plays. What are some things that stand out about the Rams defense? Yeah, uh, fast, physical, athletic. Obviously, they can rush the passer. Um, and obviously it starts with, you know, with Donald, but I think that, uh, you know, you look at the back end, they're getting in their hands on a lot of balls as well. So I think big challenge for us. I'm assuming that like a player like Donald's caliber requires like extra attention to game plan. Like, well, how, how many, if that is true, how many players like that are there that you kind of encounter in a regular season? Well, he's unique because he's, uh, obviously he is who he is. And I think that, uh, you better know where he's at on the field at all times. I'm not giving away any secrets. Everybody would tell you that, that he's obviously a game changer. Like, how, how 
unique is that, like, on a week to week basis to have a guy where. Yeah, I think you go in every. I think you go in every week and kind of you know you study their personnel and uh, so you know you're setting uh, some things up. But I think that uh, obviously he's a, a big part of what they do and uh, so disruptive and has a ton of production. How much more challenging is it to scheme up against an interior pass rush like him who also moves around like, versus say Kayvon Thibodeau who was more of an outside primarily? Yeah, I think that I think they obviously do a great job finding ways to move him around, and uh, you know that's part of the challenge. And so I think that it's uh, it's things that you got to pay attention to. And obviously Doug and Kevin do a great job uh, as far as you know when we're talking about the protection plan.